My name's John. I'm not one of the more social people you'll ever meet. My job requires me to spend days at a time finishing projects on my computer, and I'm not overly social in the first place. This is the longest project I've done so far. I haven't seen or really talked to another human in at least five days. Lately, I haven't been feeling myself. I don't know how to describe it, but I've been apprehensive. It's not like I can point to anything in particular that's put me on edge, but I can't shake the feeling that something is off. It's weird. None of my friends are online, and it's almost like nothing has been posted online in the last two days.
Hey man, how you been? Oh, okay, good, you know. I've been, you know, just like super on edge lately. because I don't think I can trust anyone anymore. I'm starting to think that there might be something wrong with the world. I don't know why, but I feel like someone is pretending to be my friends. Even Amy. Amy. She was always there for me. She helped me get through my cat dying. I couldn't stop crying. I was such a baby. But she never told anyone. But now I don't know if I can trust her. Who is it? It's me, Silly. Open the door. Oh. Hey, Amy. John, what's wrong? You never came yesterday. Could you just humor me for a second? Okay. Just prove to me that you're you. Well, I was there when your old cat died. I didn't stop crying. Okay, um, sorry, Amy. Um, I just, I've had a rough couple of days. Just let me go get more presentable and then I'll come get you. outbreak of paranoia caused by a message that got through somehow. It's worded in a way that people in your condition are vulnerable to a mental breakdown. Open the door, son. I can help. Got through somehow? Look, I have reason to believe the state you're in, you may be a danger to yourself. I have several officers here to prevent anything bad from happening to you. My friend is very concerned. About I like that. You almost sounded real. John, I'm going to have to come in. With force if necessary. Please, just make me easy. Fuck! You! I'm sorry this happened to you, John. The 
thing has me. I don't know what its plans are, but so far it's kept me alive. Maybe it needs me to see it, or to give in to finally win, but I won't let it. Sometimes it comes to me as a nurse, sometimes as that doctor. They're all trying to break my spirit, all trying to make me believe that I'm just really insane. The hardest is when it comes as Amy. It pretends to cry, to tell me it's always left me, and that it just wants me to get better. I almost fell for it. I really did. But I'll never give up. I'll keep resisting, even if it means for the rest of my life. If the entity wants me to give in so badly, then maybe, just maybe, it needs me to give up. Maybe by resisting, I foiled its plans. Maybe the real Amy is still alive out there somewhere, kept alive by my resistance. I will never give in. I will never break. I am... I am a hero! Son, are you ready to talk yet? 